Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this Sunday. It is extremely hot here in LA. I don't know how I'm gonna survive this summer. Honestly, I need fall to come now. I mean, this is insane. It's like it's like 80 something degrees out there. I, I cannot handle it. It's just too much for me. I'm here happy on my beautiful AC bubble. But anyways, um, let's talk about Diana Jenkins because people are not happy with Diana. She keeps doing the most. I mean, we have talked about her over and over and over. Fans of the Real House of Beverly Hills are not happy with her. They want her fired. They want her out. And this is just from what we have seen on the show, okay? Let's not even really talk about what it's outside or maybe we should talk about what it's outside because it's a big part of it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thanks bottom right here and let's talk about this mess hey yo meal no my friend my soulmate my sister i am is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So, as I was telling you, Diana Jenkins is... It's a riddle involved in cash and, I don't know, gossip and hardcore gossip and... <laughs> You know, like all kind of weird shit going around her before she even joined the Real House of Beverly Hills. Okay, since since she arrived, everyone it's all about her past. You know, was she a madame? Was she, you know, a ringleader, a prostitution ringleader? Uh, is she like uh, scamming people? Is she doing like all of this shit? Those questions has always been there. And then you put that together with her behavior on the Real House of Beverly Hills. And you're like, this bitch is up to something because that shit is just not normal. Okay. A lot of content creators have been talking about her, like Dana Wilkie. She did a whole episode on Diana Jenkins and, she, and it's on her Patreon that you definitely, definitely need to go and check it out. Uh, but now there are also other creators outside of the housewife world that literally are starting to like ask these questions like who is Diana Jenkins and why why is people you know reacting this way to her one of those creators is actually Sloan he is a huge youtuber i guys i'm going to be putting some clips of his uh, youtube channel you know um but he is so good. You have definitely have to go and check his channel uh, because he's really, really good. It's literally it's alone. I'm going to put the, the link on the description below. Uh, but anyways, he did a video talking or uh, trying to investigate a little bit about this whole Diana Jenkins um, situation. So I'm going to give you some clips here and there. But if you want to get all the tea, you know, and like the whole story, go and check his, uh, his channel, right? Well, what we know from Diana Jenkins is basically, I mean, like on the surface, you know, she has been vinculated to uh, people like Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump, you know, and, and not really nice people. Now, the rumors are that she is some kind of madame, like she is kind of like a leader of like a prostitution ring that connects Hollywood young girls with really wealthy men around the world, you know, and I'm not talking just here in the United States. I'm talking like, like princess, princess, not like prince. What is the plural for male prince? Well, multiple princes, Latino moment, guys. Um, uh, she, uh, she's also like connecting like kings from Arabia, uh, Saudi, Saudi Arabia, you know, and all of that. So it's like she has this this group of young girls who are part of Hollywood. You know, I'm talking about young actresses that we literally are seeing on TV or on movies, you know, but they are just starting her their journey on Hollywood and that they had to do whatever it needs to be done in order to move on on their careers. So like there comes Diana, like in the middle being like the businesswoman that she is, you know, creating her own uh, company, right? And being like, well, I actually have this guy who loves to, you know, screw little girls like you. 
and do you like do you want to do this and then you know she took some kind of commission or something out of it those are the rumors okay remember allegedly 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 you know so um apparently according to um sloan diana jenkins was the middleman between the super rich man and young women creating a business for herself uh there are there has been also rumors that she herself got all her wealth because she's a very wealthy woman we have literally seen it on real house of beverly hills like she is probably one of the richest housewives that we have ever seen and like she got all her money from uh her ex-husband who used to be i think like a banker or something and then the rumors were that she coming from bosnia she was actually an uh bride a paid bride you know and that he bought her basically um again they're saying that she was a madame okay she is basically the madame is like a pimp you know so you uh she take all these women who are so eager to do something with their lives and you know it's so hard to make real connections here in 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 la and in hollywood and she has those connections you know so if you have the corpse if you have the face if you have the boobs then girl believe me the world if you're oyster if you are with diana jenkins that's like her motto right um so this whole thing with diana jenkins comes or gain a lot of of strength with the book that she did the famous room 23 book it's a book that she did a long time ago it's a coffee table book you know with pictures of a lot of celebrities naked right there are a lot of people in there including lisa rena uh, george clooney uh, a lot of people are in that in that book right and the rumors were that that book actually was created to be like a catalog for these kings and these rich people you know to be like mm, how much for this one okay what about if i want 15 minutes with this one and 30 minutes with this one you know and then kind of like she they, they could like just choose whoever they wanted and then diana will make sure to uh make it happen right uh the book came in 2009 i think the book is like 300 dollars. it's very hard to find and it was created all about uh, the Peninsula Hotel, which is a very famous hotel here in Los Angeles. And it's always surrounded with scandal and all the scandal things that happen in that hotel, specifically in Room 23. And that's why the name of the book is Room 23, right? Um, now, the whole thing is that she has made sure to create a charity like wall you know around her like she is so charity charitable and she's so involved in so many charities that people are always saying like oh my god she is such a good person i mean she gave back so much that will no one will ever think that she is literally trafficking girls around the world right um and then she gets involved with people like Jeffrey Epstein and then and Donald Trump. There are these pictures, you know, circulating of a young Diana Jenkins talking to them. However, it looks very different to the Diana that we know now. So she said that she, that's that's not her, that, that that it's another woman, bada, 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 you know. But apparently they have ties together. And we all know how that whole thing with Jeffrey Epstein actually finished. Also, it really gained a lot of traction when there was um a lot of blind items from days and night okay uh you already know who days and night is we talk about them all the time here um so i'm gonna actually show you a little clip from um sloan uh, related to this so look at this on november 15th 2018 and you can see at the bottom that he links diane jenkins which is weird because these articles go between diana and diane which one is it? This one says Diana, or Diane. The other one said Diana. And the Vatican, and Room 23. Let's go ahead and read this post together. 
There are so many angles at play that I wonder if anyone is really 100% in the know and feels if they can trust others. Many years ago, this international society woman decided to gather together her A-list friends and ask which of them would be interested in being a companion to the global elite. I'm sure many of you know the result of those meetings and who chose to accept. Times have changed, but now most of her work is done online and well protected behind a website that has a wall that nobody can breach. The thing is, though, in order to keep it protected, our socialite entrusted this very small country, which is not even really a country. And it believes that I believe that this country is in like the Caribbean. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out, but um, they keep the site safe, this country in the Caribbean. But it has also allowed them to see all of her members and all of the connections they make. So it seems like NT's alluding that someone from this foreign country has given him this information. Obviously, this very tiny country loves having this information at its disposal. However, they know the reason they were chosen is because many of the leaders within the country have availed themselves of special services of the socialite. She has organized the ships that carry hundreds of refugees from the top of a continent to the very near shoreline of this European co oh, European country. See, then I saw some say it was Caribbean. See, I really don't know. What is this small Europe? It sounds like it's an island, too. Girl, like what country is it? Maybe you guys can figure it out in the comments below. <laughs> Most of the refugees would be returned when they reach this point. So there's these children which are under the special protection of this very tiny country. And when they reach the very tiny country, they are passed around like party favors to various locations throughout the world, which Sounds like trafficking to me. Our socialite is well paid for her work in this process. And this tiny country has an interest in keeping the information about who received what far away from anyone. So they really do protect this system of these elites, I guess, like gathering these children from refugee countries. I don't know who he's talking about here, but it is those recipients who have blocked and wedged and impeded and done anything they can to stop their activities being brought to light. In recent days, our socialite was publicly spotted with the leader of the tiny country, which I'm like, where is this? I cannot find it. Photos were taken, smiles were exchanged. Apparently one of our socialite's actresses in her stable has the ear of the head of an organization of countries in Europe. Girl, what are you? The leader of this group is married, but has always been a fan of this B-list actress. So it sounds like there's an actress who's part of Diana's like ring and has a connection to this organization of countries in Europe. Apparently there will be enough pressure placed on these leaders to keep the smuggling lanes open and business as usual for all involved. So it sounds like they're, they're alluding to this entire scheme that's going on, which involves other countries in Europe and there's actresses and elites who are working with them to continue this like ring of like trafficking refugees like is that what they're alluding to because why are the actresses and these celebrities involved human trafficking is a huge problem so in with things world. like and this you know with this kind of like blind items it just and it literally coming from uh from them um and not only them, we have seen them not only on crazy days and night we have seen them on dumois we have seen them on bravo and cocktails a lot of blind items that usually come and they literally said that it is diana jenkins okay so it's she has all these ties now why someone like that will choose to come to a reality show especially after what happened with erica jane and jane shaw you know and Teresa judice and all of that it really blows my mind. I have no idea. The, the, I mean, the number one rule on these reality shows is like, if you have something to hide, do not come to The Real Housewife because now you have ears and eyes everywhere around the world. So people are going to find out about your shit. They have like this little like island that he was talking about, like all of these things, very Jeffrey epstein -y, you know. So it kind of like makes you think like is she really guilty about that now she like i said if you put that all of this together with her uh behavior on the real house of beverly hills it really doesn't help either right um the other day she was uh she has been uh, sued by her housekeepers her gardeners her ex-assistant uh she went all caring against a black security guard uh she literally went on and um had to pay because she was scamming people with her um, 
energy drink you know she was uh, creating a whole fake business about it and she had to re she was forced to rebrand if she wanted to keep that business so she has been involved in now so many shady things but of course none none of it will be as, as big as this one i mean we are talking about human trafficking one of the worst crimes that you can actually commit out there okay so we I don't know if this is gonna ever gonna get resolved. I I think like Hollywood girls like Hayden Patnier, I don't remember her last name, who is heavily involved in this. Apparently Lindsay Lohan, uh, Amanda Bynes, you know, all of these young girls will have to be strong enough to come forward and say like, yes, Diana made me do this. You know, yes, Miami, Diana put me in contact with this guy. And look how long it took to Jeffrey Epstein to really go down right <laughs> these people are smart so if this is true believe me it's not gonna be like just out there in like tomorrow right um so i don't know a lot a lot of a lot to think about this let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you think that diana jenkins is actually a madame do you think that she has I mean, I know that you don't like her because, I mean, I have read your comments constantly, you know, and I know that you are not on Team Diana in general. But do you think that it will be so far into saying that she is literally, you know, the head of a sex trafficking ring around the world? You know, do you think that she will be able to do something like that? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to go and follow uh, or subscribe to Sloan's YouTube channel. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.